I'm Lisa Robertson and I'm the composer of To Tell It Like It Is. This piece is about the environmental crisis and climate change um, and I have taken for the text some facts and figures um, from scientific data relating to levels of emissions and also the effects that these are having on the natural world. Um, I also wanted to reflect, um, sort of bring in parts of the natural world into the musical material. So I transcribed the call of a bird, the kuwayo o um, which became extinct in 1989 due to human activity. So sort of bringing together the, the um, idea of humans having inflicted damage on this bird. Million barrels of oil. The majority of my work explores relationships which exist between people and the environment and often this is in a negative sense owing to the damage that is being inflicted by humans on the planet. Um, this piece gave me a chance because I was working with singers to use text in quite a sort of pertinent way um, and that allowed me to be quite clear about what the message of the piece was. Um, and the fact that I was working with young singers uh, just made me feel that it could be a powerful statement and something that I was um, inspired to write. Folk music has been very important to me since uh, I grew up in the West Highlands of Scotland, so particularly Gaelic song and fiddle music has been always at the core of what I, uh, of what I want to do. Um, I think in many pieces it's more intentional and overt, but I think in this piece I bring a sense of natural, almost speech-like uh, sort of a feeling to it, um, which I think comes from uh, my interest in my folk music from my, from my home. Being part of the NYCGB family has been an incredible experience this year. Um, having the chance to work with these young singers and they're able to produce just incredible quality in their performance um, but also have a curiosity and an adventurous approach to music making. It's been just amazing and the fact that we're of a similar age and we've developed friendships and got to know each other's personalities, it's been a really great sort of creative space and a very supportive environment to make these new works. Every day.